Good afternoon. It's Grandmoose. It's December 24th, the day before Christmas. I thought we would throw another little book in the mix of things. Maybe while you're having your peanut butter and jelly or right before nap time or something. So Aiden, Eli, Grandma loves you. Merry Christmas. We'll be back later tonight when you put your Christmas PJs on to read another story. But this afternoon's book is called The Nightmare Before Christmas. This is an old little golden book from 1978 before it became super popular. Uh, but this is before the other versions came out. So we're going to enjoy this. Um, so kick back, grab your blankies, and push play when you're ready. Ready? Twas the night before Christmas when all through the house not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled down for a long winter's nap when out on the lawn there rose such a clatter. I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like, the fla like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. Probably just an old book. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave luster of midday to objects below, when what to my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. When a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be Saint Nick. You see all those little reindeer? In Alaska, Santa uses caribou. Hi, Talia and Adam. I'm their big sister. Did everybody know that? More rapid than eagles, his courses they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen, to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves that before the wild hurricane flew, when they met with an obstacle mount to the sky, so up to the housetop the courses they flew with the sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkle I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney, St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry, his cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and his beard on his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke and encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk. And laying his fingers aside of his nose, 
and giving a nod up the chimney he rose. Told you it was an old book. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the dawn of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim as he drove out of sight. Happy Christmas to all, and to all a good night. Grandma's got to get busy baking bread. I love you. See you later.